Wait, is that supposed to be his penis? Yes. <laughs> You're just going to go to the base, leave a mark. Wait, you have to go to the bottom of it? You go to all the way to the bottom and choke? Like, you could just I don't know about could Marty, but I would uh, choke, I'm just, just saying. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, a little deep throat's involved. Oh! Uh, <laughs> I did that one on purpose. That was just for you. Oh, I'll have so another one, oh, please. We need to use no. Ooh, bon appetit, ladies. Who else wants another one of these? We hey, all can want we also one. have a glass of red wine? All right, want me to tell you, my husband just emailed me. He said, love you. How's the weather? Where are you staying? And then he wrote, cheater. <laughs> Because you told him who Kim is calling you? Yeah. That's so funny. Um, guys, I really do think that we should all talk about, like, the elephant, obviously, that is in the room. I told you. Tick, 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 tick. Boom! As your friend, I can guarantee that I have defended you and Teresa, especially in this latest rumor, 100%. I didn't see you defending them, Come so on. I don't know that that happened. Who the f does Danielle think she is? Six months ago, her and Teresa were bitter enemies flipping tables on one another. Now all of a sudden she's going to question my relationship with Teresa? How dare you? You guys have known me for the longest. I want you to stop listening and really stand up for your friend. But when did you stick up for us with Kim D? OK, perfect example. I got you. Ready? Stand up. Go. Kim D, she's screaming in her face. She's yelling at me. I simply look at you and you, and I say, are you guys really still going to walk in this show? Yes. Yes. This is what I get. I was standing right yeah, there. Yeah, Melissa Gorga, we are going to walk in this show. It's not about you, uh, Melissa Gorga. And I felt very bad when that was over. I felt very oh, bad. Oh, this is the first time you're telling me that, because I don't know if Boy, I haven't bad. seen you. Is this what it takes to get an apology? I got shamed and schooled like a young child. I don't know what friendship she's used to, but mine doesn't roll like that. But that night, Melissa, you couple up with Margaret and Danielle. Yes. Going against us. No, we weren't there. It's not about it's coupling up. But you have to understand one thing. In our lives, there are going to be people who don't like me in your life, and vice versa. I'm going to use Margaret as an example. Just recently at Fresco's, for us to be in an argument, and all of a sudden for her to use Hitler as a comparison, it's inappropriate. Can't you guys admit it? I mean, I'm sitting there trying to eat this fabulous salad, and out of the blue, it comes about that I said something. Deflect much? I mean, that's what she does all the time. It was an analogy. I didn't compare her to Hitler. Well, what did you say? Lonnie, Lonnie, I'll tell you what I said. said. Hitler would have been good to me. Does that make him a good person? Unless we're discussing the Holocaust, yeah. Hitler's name should not Hitler's come up. But you're Hitler. getting off track. It's an know. analogy. Yeah. Kim D's only goal in life is to destroy Teresa and Melissa. She's f***ing evil. And how are you supposed to make analogies about evil people if you can't use the evil people's names? I am the daughter of a Holocaust survivor. Okay. It's inappropriate. Yeah. Even though her family's yeah. Jewish? Yeah. Margaret's not. Wait. Margaret's not. Wait. She my said Adolf Hitler wouldn't have killed wait, me, wait, but he wait, would wait. kill me. My Jewish. son is Jewish. My children are Jewish. Oh, Honey, I know many people who marry Jews who I can't mean, stand Jews. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, L. Off limits. You're pulling oh, below the back. Oh, oh, How dare you say I can't stand oh, Jews? Can't. How dare me? That is f***ing bullshit. Oh, You're anti-Semitic. Oh, my God. To call me Anti-Semitic. Okay, That's a yeah. bullshit move. And let me Brett, tell let you me something. Let me tell you something. Sit your ass down. Tell the bitch to sit down. Guys, she's shaking. Tell the bitch to sit down. Do you think this is acceptable? How dare she? To be hurtful and disgusting to try and say something like that so no one focuses on her. She doesn't want to take responsibility for hurting Melissa and Teresa. This is sick. Way below the belt. Hitler, what's next? Melissa's speaking. Just shush. Shush. Sicky, please. Oh, shush! You don't tell me to shush. What are you no, talking? shush! I'm not listening to you, Danielle. Done and done. He is a historic figure. Stop it, Danielle. You know her for six seconds. Stop. How dare her treat me and dismiss me like I'm a piece of shit. Melissa, I don't need her to get it, and I don't need Danielle to get it. Why? Because you don't matter. You're disgusting. Get up. Get up. You're fed up. I'm fed up. Yes. You bitch. You're a fing bitch. And you're a fing hypocrite. And you're a fing liar. I'm not going to do that. 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 I
I called Danielle a prostitution whore and I flipped the table on her and I've never seen her this mad. Yeah. Bitch! Go to jail, you loser! Who acts like that? Act like a lady! Please stop that mouth, please. How do you say that in Italian? Oh, fucking puta! We should go back to the United States. I'm so sorry. <laughs>